Let's Google Plaid Link iOS and go to our GitHub repository. Uh, there you can clone the both the framework as well as a demo application. I already have this cloned to my desktop, so let's open the demo now. Once you have the demo, you'll need to add a link token to configure link, as well as set up um, the application for universal link support. Let's start with the link token. I have a curl command that's missing some information that will create the link token. We're missing the client ID, we're missing the secret, and we're missing the redirect URI. We can grab the client ID and the secret from the dashboard. I'll copy my client ID and I'll paste it in. And now I'll copy my secret, my sandbox secret, and I'll paste that in. Uh, now we need to find the redirect URI. The redirect URI is a universal link and will therefore need to be configured as per Apple's universal link documentation. The basic gist is your server will host an Apple app site association file. This file dictates a mapping between your application's bundle identifier and the universal links that it supports. So let's go to our Apple app site association file and show an example. This is the redirect URI's path and we can get the full redirect URI by appending it to the host. And let's paste the full redirect URI, including the HTTPS scheme, into the curl command. Let's make sure that I don't have uh, too many quotations. Note that redirect URIs require HTTPS. Now that we have a full curl command with all of the information that we need for a link token, we can send it. We get back our link token and we can paste this into Xcode in the view controller plus link token. There's a placeholder for the link token, we'll place it there. Now let's uh, configure the rest of the application to support app to app OAuth. At this point, we have everything that we need to support in app OAuth, uh, web OAuth, but we need to configure entitlements to support universal links in order to support app to app OAuth. So to do that, the first thing we need to do is ensure that our bundle identifier matches what we're telling Apple um, the mapping is in the Apple App Site Association file. We'll go back, we'll grab the bundle identifier, and we'll paste this in. Now we need to add the associated domain. The associated domain is the domain that hosts our Apple App Site Association file. We'll paste this in with the app links colon prefix. And now we'll take the full redirect URI, I'll grab that back from the curl command, and paste this into the view controller, no, in app delegate plus all of support. Pardon, it's in view controller.swift, view controller.swift, uh, and there we'll paste it in. And we'll show you how our app delegate handles the universal links. When we receive uh, a universal link, the application continue with restoration handler function is called. And we check uh, that the universal link that we're receiving matches the universal link that we expect. Once we have verified that the universal link is as expected, we call handler.continue from and pass in the universal link that we've been launched with. So everything's set up and we can now run the application. We'll select an institution that supports OAuth. And then we'll be shown the sandbox OAuth screen. In production, you would either hit the institution's application or be shown uh, the institution's OAuth pane directly in the application. We'll hit grant access and we'll succeed uh, in linking the user. We'll hit continue. We just demonstrated in app OAuth, but the work we've done today is all that's necessary to also support app to app OAuth. 
Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out.